Tail of the tape from Manny Pacquiao against Juan Manuel Marquez. And of course, the six-year age advantage for Pacquiao is cited by many as critical. It's one of the reasons he's a heavy favorite to win the fight. A half-inch height advantage for Marquez. They're equal in arm length from the armpit to the end of the fist. They both weighed in a pound or two under the 144-pound agreed-upon catch weight limit. Neither felt compelled to go all the way to 144 tonight. Pacquiao weighs a few more pounds at 148, and Marquez has gone up to 150. Copy box numbers. And in the first two fights, the same pattern was observed in both fights. And that pattern is Pacquiao throws more, and particularly throws more jabs, but lands at a lower percentage than Marquez, who landed more punches and landed more power punches in both of the two fights and landed at a higher connect percentage in both of the two fights. The most important statistic, however, knockdowns. In 24 rounds, Pacquiao was able to put Marquez on the canvas four times. Marquez never was able to get Pacquiao down. And that's the reason that Pacquiao has a draw and a one-point win in two fights coming into tonight. Since those two fights, Manny Pacquiao has mounted one of the most amazing sustained runs in the history of the sport. He went up to lightweight and beat David Diaz. He went to welterweight and beat Oscar De La Hoya. He beat Ricky Hatton at junior welterweight. He beat Mikel Cotto at welterweight. He went to 154 pounds and beat Joshua Clotty. He easily beat the much bigger Antonio Margarito. He walked through Shane Mosley at welterweight. Every one of those fighters, a naturally larger man than Pacquiao, none of them anywhere close to giving him competition in the ring. And you know what, in addition to those being such big, famous, recognizable marquee names, he probably lost about four rounds total. He annihilated them. Meanwhile, Juan Manuel Marquez has had one slip up since the two fights with Pacquiao. That was the one time he decided to go up and wait to welterweight, fight, fight Floyd Mayweather at a catch weight. He was as though in quicksand in that fight, had no chance of keeping up with Mayweather and was annihilated over the course of 12 rounds. In addition, Mayweather knocked him down so did the relatively ordinary Michael Katsidis. Obviously, to have a best chance to prove his point and win against Pacquiao tonight, Marquez must try to stay on his feet for the full 12 rounds. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, from the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. We are about to turn the page to chapter three in the trilogy of two future Hall of Fame fighters. If you love boxing, you're gonna love this. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO Welterweight Championship of the World. Brought to you by Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated, MP Promotions, and Marquez Boxing. Sponsored by Tecate, Cerveza con Caracter, AT&T, get it faster with 4G, rethink possible, and smart communications of the Philippines. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Skip Avancino, Executive Director Keith Kaiser, and the World Boxing Organization President and Supervisor tonight at ringside, Francisco Paco Barcarcel. The three judges at ringside scoring this bout will be Robert Hoyle, Dave Moretti, and Glenn Trowbridge. And inside the ring, in charge of the action, referee Tony Weeks. And now, for the thousands in attendance here at the MGM Grand, and the millions watching around the world on HBO Pay-Per-View. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Fighting out of the blue corner, standing with head trainer Nacho Berenstein, wearing black, official weight, 142 pounds. His professional record, 53 victories, including 39 knockouts, with five defeats, and one draw. Tonight, he is the challenger. The three-time world champion, the current lightweight champion of the world, Damas y Caballeros de Ciudad de Mexico, el gran campeón, Juan Manuel Pinamita. Fighting out of the red corner with head trainer Freddie Roach, 
wearing white and blue, officially weighing 143 pounds. His professional record, 53 victories, including 38 knockouts, with three defeats and two draws. From Sarangani Province, the fighting pride of the Philippines, the eight-time world champion, recognized as pound for pound the best in the world, the reigning, defending, WBO welterweight champion of the world, Manny Pacman Pacquiao. Okay, gentlemen, Cavallo. You already received your instructions. Usted received your instructions. Okay, if it goes right here, it's okay. Anything below that's low. Aquí está bien, aquí no. If it goes right here, it's okay. Anything below that's low. Aquí está bien, aquí no. Keep everything above the waist. De los Santos para I want a good, clean fight. Ya quiero una play Olympia. Obey my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourselves at all times. Escúchame, cuídate. Listos? Let's go. Vámonos. Does Marquez, at 38 years old, have enough left to make a third great fight with Manny Pacquiao? Round one begins with Pacquiao all the way out to the center of the ring before the bell sounded. Southpaw against a conventional fighter. But in their first two fights, their heads only came together once. Two very clean fighters. Seldom has either been charged with a foul. Pacquiao starting behind his jab. Pattern of the first two fights, Pacquiao throws more jabs than Marquez. Marquez looks to counter with power shots. Man is fighting very, very intelligent. Notice he's keeping his balance, doing a lot of fading before he punches to make sure that he doesn't get counter punch so easily. And he looks very, very strong. He seems to be just a little bit faster with his coordination and his movement at this stage. Even though no one has landed a punch, he seems to be better balanced. Marquez tries the jab just a little bit short. Pacquiao's jabs have been short. He's more active. Some theorized the possibility that Pacquiao might throw a wrinkle into this by laying back a little bit in the early rounds and making Marquez lead so that he himself could find something to counter with power. Here's the first hard shot of the fight, a left hand straight up the middle on Marquez's chest. And now Pacquiao again reaches Marquez with the left, this time up top. Little red mark already on the nose of Juan Manuel Marquez, that came from the Pacquiao left hand. That is what is going to be a signature punch in this fight here. And I'm looking at the way Marquez is standing. Man is going to try to drive a straight left hand right through the center. Freddie Roach said, very concertedly, this was Manny's best training camp ever. All I can say to that is, imagine that. He Two looks good. shots for Marquez. Manny looks very fast, very well coordinated. Very, very good balance. They both look ready. Pacquiao just missing over the top with the left hand. The red mark on Marcus's nose is on the right side, just inside the eye. These guys have fought 24 rounds, and right now there's a lot of respect between both of these guys. And Manny seems to be just a little bit faster, but I think a lot of it is respect, filling each other out a little bit. But I, I would notice that even when Marquez did let Manny mix, he didn't counter punch. And you see Manny now doing the counter punch. Absolutely right. He's the counter puncher yeah. now, and he landed a right uppercut. Now he fires the left up the middle again. Marquez hasn't been able to tag him with anything good. A couple of body shots for Marquez there, but Pacquiao. Won the round, it appeared to me, with a couple of good left-hand shots. High-intensity round, even if there wasn't a lot of action. Don't throw in like that. Don't throw in like that. 
Very nice, very tu nice. Regresa a su lugar, Juanito, eh. Bring your hands back up to where they're supposed to be, Juan. Muy bien, está Very good, very good round. You're going in, you're attacking the body good. Vivo, él, eh. Vivo. Use that thing, use that foot thing. Use those things a little more for me, okay? Make him make him commit. Make him commit. Use that thing, make him commit. numbers in round one. Yeah. Marquez didn't really get going, only 7 to 32. Pacquiao only threw 38 punches, landed 11. A couple of them were good hard left-hand shots. It appeared that Manny was experimenting, particularly in the second half of the round, with laying back, trying to make Marquez lead, and casting himself in the role of counterpunch. Crowd wants more action to go with all that intensity. Both fighters are still being tactical and relatively cautious. One change that's taken place since their first fight, the development of Manny Pacquiao's right hand. He was a searching left-hand puncher, double jab, left-hand, double jab, left-hand, over and over. Back in 04, there's way more variety in his game now. Oh, he's a very balanced out fighter now. I love his speed, his, his defense is good, his balance is phenomenal. He looks very strong, too. Well, that, that transformation happened before their second fight, largely, and Marquez still gave him all the problems in the world in the second fight. Marquez got in a body shot, just missed with a long right hand. Marquez jabbing to the body, trying to create some action here, trying to scare up something that he can counter for Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao's been very judicious, very selective, has landed when he wanted to. Marquez Getting ready to take a couple more risks, or so it would appear. He has stepped forward about six inches, getting himself into tighter range with Pacquiao. Pacquiao knows, while he has a guy in front of him who's his own, his own size, or maybe even smaller, he's also his own skill level, and he hasn't faced that in a long time. Body shot by Marquez, and then he landed an uppercut at the end of the exchange. Marquez has did his homework on studying the left hand of Manny Pacquiao after two fights in 24 rounds, you see. Very much aware of avoiding the straight left hand of Manny's more than anything else. And you saw him there trying to counter Oliver Manny's left hand with his right hand, something he did so successfully in the first fight between the two. Now Pacquiao lands a left hand, comes back with a body shot. Pacquiao blindingly fast on his feet. This is the thing I think that's more troublesome than anything. It's a tension now on the side from his punching pile. His rhythm, he's got that little jerky move in and out tightening it. As the fight goes on, it wears the guy out mentally just trying to keep up with his body rhythm. Right hook by Pacquiao. Marquez came across with a right hand across the top. Start moving to the right, get that foot on the outside. Hey, right, you are you walking into his right hand? Put that arm down for me, man. Just relax, put this feet. Very nice. Lively when you're boxing. But you can't you can't permit yourself any errors, you understand? The gloves. Clean out the gloves, clean up the gloves. Sienta los golpes bien y regresa. Sit those punches down. Second round, CompuBox numbers began to even up just a little bit. Pacquiao, 9 out of 42. Marquez, 8 out of 30. Marquez landing six power shots to only four for Pacquiao. Round three gets underway. But Marquez won the round. A far more tactical fight so far than was the case in either fight number one or fight number two, or at least, according to my memory, it seems that way.
Harold Letterman gave the second round to Juan Manuel Marquez. Seesaw pattern, I win around, you win around, is another thing we saw in the first two fights. Left hand over the top for Pacquiao. A war of nerves in here in round three. Yeah, but, uh, but Manny's speed just seemed to be a little bit faster than Marquez, and that's what's in addition to him looking physically stronger. But his speed is just so much, even though Marquez is doing good now, but still he's having a problem trying to deal with the speed of Manny as he's coming in. Marquez landed a right hand down the chute. Pacquiao came back with a left hand up the middle. Manny Pacquiao knows. He has to be defensively responsible against Marquez, who's such a good counterpuncher. And as a result, it's muted Pacquiao's offense. He's muted his own offense. Pacquiao making Marquez miss, but not firing back. Marquez fighting a conservative defensive fight here in round three. Another jab to the body. Trying to get Manny Pacquiao to bring that guard down just a tiny bit. These have been so far three of the quietest rounds these two have fought. All amount of combustion there. Little body shot for Marquez. Left hand over the top for Pacquiao. Marquez sticks a straight right hand. There's a hard right hook by Pacquiao. Best punch of the fight so far. Marquez feels the need to answer. Now the action begins. Don't just stand there. Don't stand still. Juan, don't stand there. When he's throwing that left, don't stay ver, there. Voy, voy. Come on, I'm working. Coming. Levanta. Hey, no le des tanta agua, despacio. Jinky Pacquiao is increasingly comfortable at the big fights, able there to smile and make a motion toward the camera, but. You can see the nerves underneath that countenance. She has never become quite accustomed to the notion of watching her husband fight. She tries it, she goes through it, but she's nervous the whole time. Copy box numbers in three, they both landed 10 punches. Pacquiao 10 out of three, 53. Marquez 10 out of 39. Harold, how do you have it through three? You know, Jim, I gotta tell you something. In two fights so far, Manny Pacquiao won both of them, both big controversies. And I'm starting to wonder whether that one on one Marquez style just impresses the judges enough to win a fight. He backs up, he does nothing flashy. He, you know what he does is very unusual. Judges like myself tend to go for the effective aggressor. I gave rounds one and three to Manny Pacquiao because of the fact that he's the effective aggressor and he looks better doing it. 29-28, two rounds to one, Pacquiao. Now we're seeing the kind of action we saw in the first two fights. I hit you, you come and try to hit me back. One of the reasons that we have seen flowing, sustained action from them in their first two fights. I think Pacquiao just convinced himself a little bit that he can impose his speed on Marquez. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing, a lot of speed. I mean, Marquez just looks so much slower than he does. And this is maybe the fastest I've saw Manny myself. And he's keeping good balance on it. I've seen him punch a lot and get out of position, but he's very, very conscientious of getting out of balance in this fight. So he's punching and getting back in position right away. Reaching left hook for Marquez. Made contact, but not solidly. 
Best punches of the fight have been a couple of Pacquiao left hands in the first round and a Pacquiao right hook in the third. Now Pacquiao begins to land solidly with a left and a right upstairs. Another left hand. Slight swelling above Juan Manuel Marquez's right eye, possibly from a Pacquiao left. Marquez goes to the body with his right. I was about to say a little while ago, one of the reasons that we often see free-flowing action from them is that Pacquiao's by nature an attacker, but he's also a great counterpuncher. Marquez is by nature a counterpuncher, but he's also a great attacker. Everything that happens generally gets answered and then answered back. Marquez must be careful when reaching for those low body shots that Pacquiao doesn't time him and counter upstairs. Now Manny yes. begins to exploit yeah. those yeah. angles. He yeah, goes by you on he, one he, side he's and then his, comes back. He's shooting his left hand. A lot of times we're not with the full knockout power, but shooting it almost like a fast jab just to change up his attack and therefore Marquez can't really time the left hand as much as he did before. And you see the challenge for the 38 year old Juan Manuel Marquez fighting at a weight class far above what he's accustomed to trying to keep up with the speed of Pacquiao who's far more accustomed to this weight. Good left hand by Pacquiao. Marquez lands a right return. Here we go. Here we go. Changes, we gotta move that head. Okay. Right, he's coming back. You're gonna win, Juan. Let him despair. Be focused. Jab. You hit the right low into the body. <laughs> Here you see what Marquez and, and, and Pacquiao both was concerned about getting counter punch. Anytime either one of them throw a punch and leave himself out of balance, boom. Beautiful right hand come back by Marquez right here. Good right hand shot. Combi box numbers in the fourth round. Pacquiao 15 out of 47. Marquez 12 out of 43. Pacquiao with a slight edge in power shots. On Harold Letterman's guard, Manny Pacquiao goes to three rounds to one. Punch was blocked by Pacquiao, as were the two preceding. Pacquiao, a far more responsible defensive fighter than was the case eight years ago. Copy box numbers between rounds showed you that this fight is taking place at a slower pace than the second of their fights. Upper cut from Marquez. Pacquiao seemed momentarily not to be paying enough attention. Marquez landing easily from outside then. Now Pacquiao comes back, answering, firing his double jab left hand combination. Still the preferred combination for the Filipino star. Right hand over the top for Marquez. Heels. 
best punch of the fight so far. Manny wants to answer back right away. But this is what makes the type of fight that these guys are When one guy gets hit, the other guy automatically runs back right away. Pacquiao landed a right hook and a left hand. Marquez comes back with a solid left up the middle. Pacquiao again wants to answer back. 20 seconds to go in the round. Most dominant round of the, of the fight so far, offered by Marquez. And he is loosening up and gathering confidence and starting to fight. But his right eye is also beginning to swell. Good round from Juan Manuel Marquez. Another beautiful round. You've got to finish when you finish, punch. Lively with your defense. Bring your defense up. Double up your defense. You won that round. Here you see which is the best punch of the fight right here. Straight right hand, right on the chin from Marquez. Hit it straight between the gloves, right down the pipe. And he back out, chin tested there by Juan Manuel Marquez. Remember the pattern of the first two fights? Marquez lands more power shots through five rounds here. Pacquiao, 30 of 83 on power shots. Marquez, 33 out of 91. The pattern begins to emerge again. Pacquiao looked up right before the bell for this round, as if to say, looking to the heavens, here we go again with this guy. Five rounds have gone by pretty quickly. Here's the sixth of a scheduled 12. Marquez was buoyed by winning the last round. His corner spirits were lifted. Good jab by Marquez. Sneaking it in across the top of Pacquiao's right hand. <laughs> Judging by the chance, the crowd's about 50-50. But by nature, the Mexican fans are loud on more voices than the Filipino fans. Marquez blocking Pacquiao's left there. Body shot by Marquez. Drives Pacquiao back. Pacquiao lands a little left inside. Steps away at an angle. Marquez looked like a 9-1 to one underdog to you guys. Not even close. Those odds were absurd. Pacquiao's been so mesmerizing. And some of his fans and followers have become irrational in terms of judging his quality compared to the guys he's fighting. There's a good right hand by Marquez, countering off the ropes. And there's a hard left by Pacquiao, and a good right hook, and another left. We're close to having full combustion here. All the burners are on. Let's see how high the fire builds. Hard right hand by Marquez, followed by another. Pacquiao with a right hook, Marquez with a left hook. We're picking up where we left off in the last two fights now. Absolutely right. These last two rounds have been round 13 and 14 of the, of the second fight. Both guys tried to see if they could do better than the first two fights, if they could outclass the other guy, and it seems like they've decided there's no way around this. We gotta duke it out. Absolutely. Two fighters who know each other very well. The inherent beauty of the trilogy. Marquez driving Pacquiao back with a body shot as the round comes to a close. Close round. Both fighters have their moments. Come on. Oh, run. Sukat, ah. Sukat. Kasi, 
pito siya lagi ng kanan. Pero kung ikaw nauna dito sa kanan, mas lamang ka. Ginawag lalong. Ginawag lalong. Sige, grabe. Kung ilang tiyel, limo. Kung demasiado riesgo porque pega. Careful, he's got power. But you're boxing very well. ¿Qué pasa? Cierra los ojos. Close your eyes. Here we see, similar to the last two fights, where Manny shoots shots, get out of position sometimes because he punches so hard, and boom, here comes Marquez right back, taking advantage of that. Tommy Box numbers showed that Pacquiao was more active in the round, throwing 46 punches and landing 15 of them. Marquez only threw 28. It was his low output for the fight. Harold, how do you have it through six? Okay, Jim, I've got a four rounds to two, 58. 56, Manny Pacquiao. I thought one man, one Marquez, one, definitely one round five, certainly one round two in my estimation. But other than that, it's the effective aggressiveness and a hard left hand to Manny Pacquiao. I like when he fights, you know, I like when he throws a punch and he steps to the side. That's impressive because it's ring generalship. Four rounds to two, Pacquiao. I could certainly see that. To tell you the truth, I don't think anyone won that first round. Nothing much happened. But the Nevada State Athletic Commission and most ring authorities now vigorously discourage even round. There's a perfect right hand shot by Marquez. Pacquiao getting his chin checked once again. Not that it was necessarily even, but it may not have been to Pacquiao either. Well, the difficulty of scoring fights between the two of them is bespoken by the divergent scores of both of the first two fights. One judge in the first fight, 115-10 for Marquez, another 115-10 for Pacquiao. In the second fight, the same thing happened with scores of 115-112. You know, I don't know what the uh, punch output has been in the first two fights, but these guys are fighting much more respectful, uh, a lot more careful this fight than they did in the first two fights. So the punch output is, I think, down, but they're punching more for accuracy down. Each guy is trying to make sure he does and make a mistake and leave himself open to get counter punch. Shot by Marquez. Those punches score. Good left upstairs by Pacquiao. And a double right that knocks Marquez back. Marquez makes another stand in the center of the ring. There's that left hand body shot again. You wonder when Pacquiao's going to be able to counter over the top of that with a right. There's a right hand upstairs by Marquez. And again. His timing on that right hand is extraordinary. Yeah, he's, he's, he's really placing. And even though Daniel may be win, I mean, but then I'm not spoken that to the crowd. The most important thing to me is to see how effective Marquez has been landing with those clean, well-placed shots. There was an amazing piece of footwork by Pacquiao, who moved to three or four different places while Marquez was standing still. There's another amazing piece of footwork as he lands a shot and goes by Marquez to a place where but Marquez is taking his time There's to place the punches. There's the uppercut. Brilliantly thrown by Marquez again. Both men had their moments. And he fakes you, he jumps. So this control Let's take a look at Manny Pacquiao's foot movement after he lands a punch. This is what I was talking about at the end of the last round. He lands a left and a right. Now watch him run away at an angle where Marquez can't possibly throw a shot. He did it three straight times at the end of the round. That's the thing that's unappreciated about Marquez. I mean, I mean that Manny is his footwork. Well, that, that Marquez waited till he stopped moving and nailed him with an uppercut. <laughs> I had a great pro football player as a guest at Pacquiao versus Cotto. Uh, Charles Tillman, who plays cornerback for the Chicago Bears, 
seeing his first live prize fight. And I asked him, I said, what impresses you about Pacquiao? He said, easily, the footwork. I've never seen an athlete in any other sport who could get to so many places so fast. Meanwhile, we're dealing with another drawish fight so far. Our shots in seven. Pacquiao landed 16 out of 31. Marquez 11 out of 21. You saw between rounds that Manny Pacquiao is bleeding from the mouth. Bleeding from a cut apparently inside his lower lip. There's a, uh, an oddly shaped right hand shot by Pacquiao that landed. There's Marquez coming back with his conventional straight right cross over the top. Every time that Manny throws a punch, Marquez comes right back with a counter punch. Realize no one has competed with Pacquiao since the last time Marquez fought him. He is just smoked everyone he's faced. In order to compete with him, he must have great craft, he must have pretty good footwork, and you gotta have some speed. Marquez can't match Pacquiao for footwork or speed. He can match him for craft, for sure. But he takes his time, he's always in good balance position, and he takes advantage of Manny running in and, getting, and is over anxious and getting out of position. So he doesn't try to match him in those other areas. He just takes his time and places his punches very effective. Just like that. Uppercut by Marquez uppercut. and a right hand upstairs. Pacquiao needs to answer back. Tries to fire a right hook. Marquez counters with a left. Pacquiao hasn't fought another great fighter who still had it since the last time he was in with Marquez. And obviously, the great Marquez still has it. At 38 years old and fighting at a weight which many felt would severely debilitate him in the fight. Juan Manuel Marquez is giving as good as he's getting from round to round and staying right there with Manny Pacquiao once again. Left hand over the top by Manny. And Marquez comes right back with a shot every time after that. More and more though, Pacquiao is ensuring himself by running to a side at an angle after he lands the left. Right hand by Marquez again. He times Pacquiao perfectly with that shot. The most memorable punches of this fight that have landed so far have been Marquez shots. Yes. You know, Manny creates a lot of excitement, just his body rhythm, so I can easily see, in addition to his punch power, why judges get influenced by it, because he's always moving, jiggling, creating excitement. And throws the left hand down the middle, which landed to end the round, and in a close round, may have left the right final impression on the judges. It was a good, clean shot. He doesn't know what to do, that's why I'm asking you. Throw three punches. Three punches, and when you finish, block. Eh, eh, Juan. Juan. En, en cuanto termina, redoblas tu when you finish, sube las manos, bring up your defense, double up your defense, and sharp when you go back. Está With your hands up. De la cara, Juan. Now, quick, quick, quick. You do it for me. This fight is building an intensity from round to round. Power shots through eight. Pacquiao's landed 65 now. Marquez has landed 63. Marquez had a 13-11 power shot edge in round number eight. These rounds are close. It's another scoring challenge. Harold Letterman has it five rounds to three so far for Manny Pacquiao. Wouldn't be hard to imagine one of these judges having it five rounds to three the other way. Indeed, very possible. And it's an entirely different judging panel from those who judged the first two fights between them. Pacquiao blocked both those shots with his gloves. That was on the back of the head, and Pacquiao shows referee Tony Weeks that it was on the back of the head. It shouldn't be seen as a scoring blow. Good combination by Marquez. And another good combination by Marquez. Now Pacquiao blocks another shot with his gloves and steps up to look to answer back because Marquez had two good offensive moments. Hard right hand down the middle by 
by Marquez Hart, left hand in return by Pacquiao. Pacquiao needs to find a way to land some combinations here. Marquez is landing more combinations than Manny does at this moment. Pacquiao starting to rely a little bit more on his right hook. This is with the left. They trade shots at close range. Pacquiao backed Marquez off. Please. If he moves, attack his body. If he moves, attack his body. Don't let him go. Don't bring your hands down. Please don't bring your hands down. Well, you see these kind of exchanges right here going back and forth. It's like, who you judge won these the exchanges or win these? That's who's going to win the fight. Because they're going back and forth, tit for tat. This one here was, I would have to give up to Manic Death simply because he looks so strong, so fresh. And it's nice little bears and footwork that he threw there in the I league. agree with you, Emmanuel. Yes. Marquez landed some signature shots, but Manny outworked them. Copy box numbers in nine. Pacquiao 17 out of 70. Marquez 17 out of 56. Now here's the big moment. Harold, how do you have it through nine? Okay, Jim, I've got an 87, 84, six rounds to three. Manny Pacquiao. And I want to answer Emmanuel's question. I want to tell you, when the punches are equal, Manny, when the punches are equal, you got to start looking at other stuff. You look at effective aggressiveness, you look at defense, you look at ring generalship. What I talked about, what Jim talked about early on, was Manny Pacquiao's ring generalship. He hits you and he steps to the side so that when you come back, he's not there. Aggressiveness, Manny Pacquiao is the aggressor by a mile. Defense, Marquez is swelling, Manny's not. Six to stop, three, stop, stop. Pacquiao. Once again, Harold Letterman's card is unofficial. He scored the first fight 115-110 for Pacquiao. He scored the second fight 115-112 for Pacquiao. If you were scouting judges, you would say, oh, Letterman prefers the Pacquiao style. But nevertheless, he's a very, very good scorer, and other judges would do well to emulate it. Meanwhile, there's combustion again between these two guys in the tent. Marquez back Pacquiao off for the right hand and does it again. Pacquiao pointing to his head, saying, I think I got butted. There's blood on Pacquiao's face. I'm not certain whether it's his or Marquez's. I'm quite sure enough it matters. Oh, for the days of 15 round fights. You know, it's funny right now, Marquez should be being more aggressive. He seems to have, man is distracted right now because of the blood for a second. But Marquez is not taking it to him. He should take it to him a little bit more. Pacquiao's cut. Pacquiao's got a cut above his right eye. Pacquiao is trying to motion to the referee that the cut came from a butt. We'll see what the Nevada State Athletic Commission tells us between rounds. Oh. 
And he finished the second fight with blood on his face and the cut over his eye. So did Marquez. Little right hand shot for Marquez. Marquez to the body, Pacquiao upstairs. Two punch combination for Pacquiao. A right and a left there. He missed with the left, he landed the right. Now he lands the left. Marquez comes back with the right. Manny Pacquiao had a big rally to finish the round. And it's a round that Marquez could have won easily, I think, if he'd have stepped it up about a minute sooner. Might have won it anyway, but Pacquiao might have bailed himself out with that rally at the end. There's the cut, and it's bad. Here we see a nice right hand from Marquez. That's not what caused the cut. And here you see an exchange right here with headbutt. There's Bam. the headbutt. And that's where the cut come from. The Nevada State Athletic Commission confirming between rounds that the cut came from the headbutt. And you made the point that Marquez had a round on the table he could have won. He only threw 37 punches. And Manny Pacquiao threw 50. And partially as the result of that, Harold Letterman gives Pacquiao a key round, which on the Letterman card makes him uncatchable now, unless Marquez scores a knockout. I'd be surprised if at least one of the judges has it tighter than Harold, maybe even for Marquez at this point. I wouldn't be shocked, no, would any, neither would anybody else, based on the scoring of the first two fights, based on the way they match up with each other. Body shot by Pacquiao. You wonder if Marquez, unaccustomed to his weight, is having a little bit more trouble getting from here to the finish line, maybe pacing himself a tiny bit. Yeah, Manny looks so strong, even though Marquez is meeting him almost, almost punch a punch. Manny looks physically so much stronger, much fresher, and much faster. Marquez is 38, Pacquiao's 32. Our and interpreter, Jerry Olaya, makes clear that in Marquez's corner, Nacho Berestain is very confidently telling Marquez, you're winning, we're winning the fight. That could be influencing Marquez's choices in the ring. Hard right hand by Pacquiao as Marquez runs forward. Big left and a right by Marquez. I have it around closer than Harold does, and there was a round the first I thought that could have gone either way. Pacquiao needs to answer back. Well, Harold has Pacquiao up by four rounds, so if you take two away, that makes it an even fight. Again, this is highly open to interpretation and could be scored differently by different judges. And again, Nacho Berestain, according to our interpreter Jerry Olaya, is confidently telling Marquez, you're winning the fight. And he's fighting that way also. It's a big difference between doing much better than what the crowd or the public expected than actually winning on the scorecards. Pacquiao landed his right hook, got in another right hook, but Marquez tagged him with a left on the forehead. Pacquiao's cut has not been reopened in this round. Marquez also knows that Pacquiao in exchanges is extremely dangerous because of the hand speed he found out in their first two fights. And so in a way he has to take what Pacquiao gives him and Pacquiao's being more cautious than in their first two fights. Our right hand by Marquez. Pacquiao tries to answer back with the left. Closing seconds of the round. Probably a Marquez round. We've got round. three minutes to go. You had everything. Just be careful that he doesn't catch you. Careful he doesn't catch you with one punch and you're down. Because then everything will be drawn. But you're winning. Breathe. Explode, Juan. Explode. Use your combination. Speed. 
The fight is yours. Throw the combination. Do you hear? Lively, lively. Guys, Marquez's corner thinks he's winning. Freddie Roach wants to see Pacquiao put this guy on his ass. And the crowd seems to think Marquez is winning. 12th round of a scheduled 12. Harold Letterman saw Marquez coming with a win in the 11th round, getting to within three points on the Letterman scorecard. We've emphasized over and over, official scores may conceivably be closer than that. If Berestein is this confident that Marquez is winning the fight, Perhaps he hasn't observed over the last 10 years the powerful tendency of judges to favor the puncher who throws the most punches. Volume punching is the single biggest factor in the sport in winning fights on the scorecard. Incidentally, 12th round knockouts are rare. Both fighters have only one in their career. So chances are we're headed to the finish line again. Marquez is very conservative here in the final round of a close fight. Obviously, he believes what Berestein has told him. Pacquiao blocked the second right hand. The first one tasted Pacquiao's face. In a close fight like this, you never stop, tell stop, your guy stop. that he's winning. I mean, I, I don't care regardless of what he's doing. Maybe better than anyone expected, and maybe there is a little blood on Pacquiao's face, but, I mean, he's never dominated Pacquiao in this fight still. Freddy he's Roach in, certainly didn't tell respected. Pacquiao he's winning. He told Pacquiao stop, 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 to go stop, stop, stop. out no, 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 and no. fight. Sometime during the later rounds of the Thriller in Manila, Muhammad Ali told Joe Frazier, they told me you were finished, Joe. And Frazier told Ali, they lied to you, champ, they lied. Anyone who told Pacquiao Marquez was finished, they obviously lied. lied. Marquez is trying to time Manny coming in and then counter punches. So all he's waiting on him to come in and mess with the straight left. The round is on the table. The fighter who's most active in the last minute can win it. Pacquiao's mouthpiece drops out of his mouth and that. there's no action, so Johnny Weeks will call timeout and give Manny a chance to put it back in. It's very unusual, especially a veteran fighter like him to have his mouthpiece come out in the way. How did that even happen? Very Easy. unusual. Come on, come on, come right on. out of his mouth. Time in, let's go. But the facial expression of Manny is very, very frustrated and desperate at this stage. But he don't know what to do because every time he runs in and throws a punch, Marquez comes right back and counters him. That's what's called counter punching. And uh potential hundred million dollar payday against Floyd Mayweather potentially in May hangs in the balance here Marquez has backed off in the 12th round Pacquiao only needs to throw another combination here at the end probably to seal this round this was a tremendous tactical error I think by Juan Manuel Marquez who finally runs with Pacquiao at the end but never really let his hands go in that round Oh boy, here we go again. Oh boy. We talked about Marquez fighting cautiously. Pacquiao didn't exactly throw caution to the wind. Aware of the skills of Marquez after now 36 rounds with him. All oh, the pressure now falls on three sets of shoulders. Three judges who have to make this critical decision. If you're looking for a definitive punch on which to score the 12th round, at the end of the round, that happened. That one left hand could prove decisive in the fight. Harold had to score it through 12. Fights him 116, 112, 
Eight rounds to four, Manny Pacquiao, you were right. He, Manny Pacquiao came out, he fought the 12th round. You had got to fight the 12th round in a fight that you think is real close like that. I thought Manny Pacquiao had that four range of eight, nine, and ten. That helped him seal the win. I think Manny Pacquiao's going to win it by clean punching and that effective aggressiveness. Harold, take us through Robert Hoyle, Dave Moretti, and Glenn Trogren. These are the judges. Okay, start with Robert Hoyle. Very, very good up-and-coming judge. He's retired from the military. Uh, you know, this is a guy that scores him well constantly. I have the utmost confidence in him. Dave Moretti will forever, forever be remembered scoring seven rounds to five Sugar Ray Leonard over Marvin Hagler, which is exactly what I had. Greg Trovich is another guy, steady judge. If you have to put him in a big fight, you put him in because you know he won't blow it. Dave, uh, he's a very good judge, Greg Trovich. So three Nevada guys, three, three good judges. It's nervous time now. For Jinky Pacquiao. For Manny Pacquiao. For one, Manuel Marquez. Mutual respect of the highest order. Michael Buffer holds the answer in his hands. Let's get it. Ladies and gentlemen, from the MGM Grand, we go to the scorecards. After 12 World Championship rounds, Robert Hoyle scores the bout 114-114 even. Dave Moretti scores it 115-113. Glenn Trowbridge, 116 to 112 to the winner by majority decision and still WBO welterweight champion of the world the fighting bride of the Philippines Manny Pacman Well given what Nacho Beristein was telling Juan Manuel Marquez in the corner I guess we're going to hear a, a protest or a dispute from the Marquez corner. I guess we're going to hear them telling us that they feel they won the fight. But at the end of the day, uh, Emmanuel Stewart, I personally believe this feels like the right decision. Well, they could have won either way. It wouldn't have been surprised. I mean, in some way, Marquez won the crowd because he did better than the underdogs. And he had blood coming from the man's face. But still, when you go to the scorecards, it could have been either way. I, I had no opinion. It was just close. Well, Dave Moretti and Robert Hoyle both gave the 12th round to Pacquiao, and that was critical on Moretti's 115-113 yeah. scorecard, and it was critical on Hoyle's scorecard because it pulled Pacquiao into a draw in the fight. Glenn Trowbridge gave the 10th round or the 12th round to Marquez, but he already had Pacquiao five points up at that point. But I think a lot of it, I thought that Marquez should have stretched out a little bit more. I thought he played it too safe. He was laying back as if he was winning the fight because of the instruction from his corner. Big, big mistake. I don't think there's any question about it that Marquez played it too conservatively down the stretch of the fight. He averaged only 37 to 38 punches per round. He needed to throw more than that to stay with Manny Pacquiao. Here are the numbers, and once again, they're going to follow something like the profile of the first two fights where Marquez lands with greater accuracy. But Pacquiao throws more punches. Really, that's probably the biggest difference. Manny threw 142 more punches than Marquez and landed 38 more. Not all of them were big power shots, but when you're the more active fighter and you do a good job of ring generalship, as Harold pointed out, you're likely to be the one the judges favor. This time, for the first time in the trilogy, he lands more power punches. It felt as though Marquez could have reversed that if he'd simply opened up yeah. and let his hands go more. And here's a look at Punch Zone, which tells us where all the punches landed. And these are the punches that landed on Pacquiao. And you see the 33 body shots that Marquez got in with the left hand. He may think that the judges didn't give him enough credit for that. Pacquiao only threw and landed 17 body shots mm -hmm. in the fight. But the left hands and right hands upstairs were enough to win the fight 
from Annie Pacquiao.